This is the Canon Rebel S2, not to be confused with the SL. Oh my goodness. <laughs> not to be confused with the SL2. This is uh, a camera from the 90s and it takes 35 millimeter film. I would say it's a absolutely fantastic find. These old Rebel cameras, single focus point cameras, are absolutely fantastic. They go for around $10 now and they take all the modern EF lenses. This is just the uh, standard 50mm f1.8 SCM. These uh, cameras have all the modern accoutrement that uh, the, uh, the modern Rebels and the, the modern Canons have. It has a program mode, sh shutter priority, aperture priority, manual, depth of field preview, a bunch of other stuff. It even sings you a song if you want. Which is fantastic. You don't get that on modern cameras. The L is for lock. It also has the... Uh, Portrait, landscape, up close, and sports settings. All your settings appear here along with uh, a light meter reading. The, the usual, you know, it tells you what the camera's going for. At the back here you have a mode selector so you can adjust things like exposure compensation. Or uh, in manual you can adjust your, your, your uh, aperture with that. The, uh, the cameras do have autofocus. It's a single autofocus point, but um, it's really all you need. If you put the, the lens in manual manual mode, um, the, the modern dot, the middle dot in the viewfinder will act as like a focus confirmation. And um, there will be a little dot on the bottom right that indicates whether or not you are in focus. Camera is very easy to load. You just open up the back like this. Film canister goes in here. You pull it over to the right, close it up, and it'll pull all the film out of the canister onto the other side. And as you shoot, it'll wind it back in the canister. The nice thing about that is that um, if something goes wrong, you still have all the all your shots that you've taken inside your canister, um, nice and safe. This camera is a, is a real joy to use. The grip is really nice. It's a uh, it's larger than uh, like a modern T4i or something along those lines, and they're super cheap, which is I would say this is a great way to get into 35 millimeter photography. Also has a flash, here firing up there. Um, yeah, absolutely great camera. Let's go through some of the pictures I took with it on Kodak Gold 200. So I got a couple pictures here. Uh, these were all shot on Kodak Gold, as I said. Here's uh, kind of like the first use of the multi-exposure function on the camera. Uh, I just kind of wanted to overlay the uh, kind of industrialness of the city along with flowers. But, um, you know, it's a cool effect. Here there's, there's, there was this uh, kind of truck just kind of parked in this kind of overgrowth. All these photos were scanned in with my uh, Epson B300. You can see the the camera works great. It's reliable, no light leaks. Here's a, a self-portrait, I guess you could say. The autofocus is is okay. It doesn't do great in low light situations, but in ge general, kind of walking around day to day stuff, it's uh, it's perfectly usable. Here's just kind of like a bench. You see here, kind of missed focus, so I was just kind of going for a landscape, but, um, you know, it's got the fuzz. And here's kind of like the classic out-the-window shot. It's a, a great camera, I highly recommend it. It's a great kind of starting point, I would recommend it. Sacrilege, but I might even recommend it over this guy, the uh, infamous Canon A1 program. 
Ooh, almost forgot to mention, this camera does do multi-exposures very easily, very nicely. Um, let me show you how to do that. I didn't know this myself, so you just gotta get it out of the uh, lock mode. You hold down these back two buttons here, and that will let you raise the number there. The number, um, it says ME multi-exposure here, the number tells you how many exposures on that one frame of film it'll let you do so you can go all the way up to nine which is great more than you'll ever need but it's a, a great little function and it's something that not a lot of cameras have these cameras are fantastic because they have so many features and they're so cheap and they're and they take all the modern lenses so highly recommend these if you're starting out highly highly highly